and our youngest, Elrose. And uh, what a football game last night, Paul. Back in the 70s when I was here at FM, it was more like a basketball score, not a football score. Paul pulled me aside before this and asked, uh, when are Becky and I going to get working on the retractable roof for the new stadium? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to happen. Anyways, good afternoon. Re reflecting back on the days following the community's no vote on a new sports facility and the disappointment I felt at that time, I now understand that fateful vote was an opportunity for FM parents to show our children that if you truly want something, you have to work for it. Sometimes you have to work really hard for it. It was an opportunity to show our youth that every brick wall can be scaled, that when people come together as a team, incredible things can happen. That if you can give of your time, talent, or wealth, you should, and when you do, it feels great. As I look around the athletic talent here in this room tonight, it's clearly impressive, this afternoon, it's clearly impressive. What a privilege it is to be standing up here with all of you. It was exactly five years ago this weekend that our committee formally donated this amazing turf field and running track to the FM School District, and I am honored and humbled to be recognized today by the Fayetteville Manlius community. I share this award, I know you said I wouldn't, but I share this award with the rest of the FM Community Sports Facility Association committee members, which I will recognize by name in a couple of minutes. Over the course of many months, we certainly had our share of obstacles, of opposition, of tight deadlines, and a little bureaucracy for good measure. We became the poster children for perseverance, but we also had a whole lot of fun. There's nothing more rewarding than coming together as a team and achieving the seemingly unachievable. The team that I speak of is the assemblage of incredibly benevolent individuals involved in creating and funding this facility out back. Some gave of their time, some of their talent, some resources, and some with their money, and some all three. And it was an honor to be among them. I want to thank the FM Hall of Fame Committee for recognizing the effort, dedication, sweat equity, sacrifices, and tenacity that our FM Community Sports Facility Association committee members devoted to the cause. It was a privilege to work among the leaders of this community, all of whom devoted countless hours to help create this beautiful facility. They include Dan DiGirolamo, Tom Hall, Samara Hanna, Steve Helmer, Tom Kinsella, Jack Lasecco, Sandy McIntosh, David Martin, Dave Morocco, Matt Naparella, Ann Oot, Becky Palver, Kate Schwartz, Brian Sisko, Linda Smack, Tom Smack, Trish Stegman, Deb Thielen, John Wilson, Lori Wyman, and Colleen Zogby. Joining this impressive list of leaders from our community were close to 600 families that contributed and supported this endeavor with both monetary and physical contributions. There are about 24,000 residents in the FM community and 600 families contributed. This community is indeed blessed with some very special families and I cannot thank them enough for helping build this tremendous facility which would not have been possible without them. I would also like to thank the school board and the administration for their creativity and good humor during this marathon endeavor. The students of the district are truly in good hands. Today this impressive facility is used daily by hundreds of our community's children. Parking lot lacrosse in March is a thing of the past. Again, this is a tremendous honor to be recognized by the school district and to be part of the Fayetteville Manlius Athletic Hall of Fame's inaugural class. Thank you very much. <laughs> 